Hello everybody. So today I'll be talking about the major pathways in our nervous system. First, let me let me get you familiar with the figures in this uh, in this picture. This figure represents the cerebral cortex. This one is the thalamus. This one is the medulla, and this one is the spinal cord. The same for here: cerebral cortex, thalamus, medulla, and the spinal cord. Also here, cerebral cortex, middle, uh, sorry, it's the midbrain here, um, it's the midbrain, and here is the medulla, and this is the spinal cord. Now, what are the three major ones? We definitely have more than this, but the, the three major pathways are first, we have the epictopic, or the touch pathway, also referred to as the dorsal column medial limniscal pathway. The second pathway is the pain pathway or the protopathic pathway, also referred to as the spinothalamic anterior lateral pathway. The third pathway is the descending pathway because it's called from upside down, which is also called the pyramidal or the corticospinal tract. Um, first, I will start with the first one, which is the epictopic or the touch pathway. Um, when we receive any kind of sensory stimulus from here, from the periphery, um, this way from here, um, this kind of uh, sensory stimulus uh, synapse in the spinal cord at this region and then ascends, that means goes up, Ipsilaterally. Ipsilaterally means on the same side of the stimulus. So it's here from the left, so it ascends up from the left. And then as it ascends ipsilaterally, it crosses at the medulla. We have cross or decussation, a fancy word of crosses. So it synapses in the medulla and then um, decussate and ascend contralaterally after that. See how it moves to the right from the left? Where is that exactly, specifically, the decussation happen? In the dorsal column nuclei in the medulla. After that, it ascends to the thalamus, also contralaterally. Where exactly in the thalamus? In the VPL, or ventral posterior um, lateral nuclei of the thalamus. And then after that, continue to, as to ascend contralaterally to reach the cerebral cortex, specifically at the somatosensory cortex. Now I would like to talk about, and, and this pathway is major for the touch, for vibration, two-point discrimination, and proprioception. Now I'm going to move on and talk about the protopathic, or the pain, pathway. Now what's the major difference here? We can see that even though here from the pain, from the axons of the A, uh, Epsilon and uh, C fibers of sensory neurons, we immediately decussate rather than just ascend ipsilaterally. See here? Immediately there is decussation that we move from the left to the right and we ascend from there. So immediate decussation and um, ascend, ascend contralaterally, that means the opposite side. We go up to the medulla, and then uh, also contralaterally to the thalamus, where in the thalamus, VPL, uh, C, central median, PAG, um, and the tectum. And then after that, we also continue ascending. Um, we ascend contralaterally, and then we end up at the uh, also... Um, different kind of the cerebral cortex. One of them is the somatosensory cortex, uh, the cingulate, and the insula. Um, now we're going to move on to the third pathway, which is the descending pathway, or the pyramidal corticospinal pathway. Okay, well that, what's the major difference here? Is that we're going from up to down, rather from them down to up, because it's the motor orders that comes from the cerebral cortex down to our, our muscle here to make certain movement. 
Now, how does that work? We go from the motor cortex, region here in the cerebral cortex, from the motor cortex, we go down, ipsilaterally, to the midbrain. Um, while we're going through the cerebral cortex to the midbrain, we pass some structure called the internal capsule. Once we're at the midbrain, specifically at the cerebral peduncle, we go down to the medulla, where exactly in the medulla? In the pyramids, here. And we can see the major decrustation happen where we move from ipsilateral to contralateral descending at the region where the medulla actually touches the spinal cord. And then after that we go to the lateral corticospinal tract in the spinal cord and then to the ventral horns where we have our motor neurons that actually synapse with our muscle um, to order it to do certain movements. Where do we find this kind of um, motion? In all kind of um, motor uh, orders. So now we can see that the first two are sensory. That goes from, from the periphery to the central nervous system versus the descending goes from the central nervous system to the periphery. Thank you for listening. I hope that was helpful.